Hi guys, um, I just got home from my um, learner's test in BC in Vancouver. So um, it was my first time taking the test and thank God I passed. So um, I'm giving a tips uh, how to pass the exam and what's the process and everything. So basically, um, first of all, you have to study. Um, I really recommend you to read the uh, Learn Drive to Smart, the book. You can get it from the ICBC locations and you don't need to pay anything to get this. Um, you can also download the app, uh, the ICBC app. That's what I use. I, because for me, using the app is easier because you're just using your phone rather than taking or using the book. But, you know, it depends with you, whatever is easy for you, either to use the book, read from the book, or read, read the app that you can download. So um, in the app, you can read and you can also do the practice test. They also have a practice test. So um, really, you can just focus on read everything pretty much. If there is like warnings like red, that's like really important. Like just read the whole book at least once if you know, like I would really recommend you to read the book because it's really important. And um, you can also do the practice test on the app, do as much as possible you know if you do perfect that's great um, yeah just practice and practice until you feel like you're comfortable to do the test so after uh, you do the um, you read the book and then you do practice and you feel like comfortable taking the test then you should uh, book appointment to do the actual um, test in the location where it's closer to you. Um, so you have to um, book it online. And then, yeah, you have to choose a date and then the closer location to you and the time. And then after that, they will send you an email and to confirm. And then after, yeah, you just go to the date that you have been booked. And after that, you go to the location and you have to pay the, like $15 so I, I have it here so you can see I paid $15 and so after like you pay the $15 you have to wait and do like a picture taken they will ask your valid ID two of them it has to be two and then you pay the $15 and then after that you have to wait to uh, do the test and so if they call you like what number are you then go to the, the you know like it's like a machine that you will be uh, doing the test so I really rec recommend you to do the test like read carefully the questions at least twice if you're not sure about it keep reading the question and um, make sure that you understand like if there's like capital letters make sure that you see that it's really important as well and then yeah you can just a b c d choose what is the best and make sure that um, you just really need to read the questions at least two or three times take your time don't do it so fast or anything like that because I was really nervous and then I realized that um, being nervous is really like could ruin anything so you just need to calm down and breathe and make sure that you're focusing on the questions and just read it two or three times take your time don't rush and yes so once you um, you pass like you already have 40 items correct then it will say you passed congratulations 
and then in the bottom part as well you can see that like how many wrongs you did and how many items you still need to do and so yeah if you pass already for 40 items then everything will be stopped they will just say congratulations you pass and then after the, uh, the exam you just need to wait and do uh, pay again and it's ten dollars um, you can see that one there ten dollars so after you pay you need to do a second uh, photos you take a picture with them again and after that after you pay everything they will give you like a copy and then tining this one so you can just take this thing off but i didn't take it off yet so um yeah it, sh it looks like this oh you can put it in the back of your car so it's it's something that i would really tell you to recommend to read the book or you can download the app you can read everything there it's the same with what you have in the book in the app it's the same it's the same in the book it's the same in the app it's just because i checked everything it's the same so like like you know you can practice like the signs in the full test it's 25 items in the app but in actual um test is 50 items you have at least to pass 40 items and then you can do like ten. if you do 10 wrongs then the exam will like just stop if you do like 10 wrongs already or 11 wrongs i don't know like yeah something like 11 if you do 11 then that's it it will stop so yeah um don't you know i know it's normal to be nervous i was nervous as well but just calm down and breathe and focus and remember that you have to focus reading and understanding the question in order for you to um, answer the questions correctly so there are a lot of questions that um, i never had in the practice test from the app so um, I, that's why I really recommend you to read the book because there's a lot of things that you can learn from the book that you don't read from the like practice test. So yeah, at least read it once. If you have lots of time, you can read it more. You know, it's, 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 it's really up to you. If you feel comfortable and you feel like ready to go, then go do it. Don't waste your time, you know, go there and you don't feel like you're ready. But it's really up to you. I mean, yeah. All right. You can do it and good luck. Thank you for listening.